I am fascinated with the information of the time spirals. After doing my first few videos on the crystal life spiral and Fibonacci death spiral, my friend Thierry sent me a link to a website of a French quantic energy therapist. She has many articles on her blog, and I decided to translate into English and Spanish what I feel is important because we are at this pivotal time. In these times of ascension, humanity is destined to break through the slavery net, the trap, and reconnect with our true self, the infinite love being. I have experienced deeper peace because of the crystal spiral time wave information. I trust this information will bring you more peace on your journey through the tumultuous transitional period. Metatron and Altered Sacred Geometry Metatron is the name of a collective of beings of different races from different planetary systems who have voluntarily chosen to cut themselves off from the life and creation energy of Source. In order not to disappear, they are therefore obliged to seek this energy and to feed elsewhere. They have therefore created their own invented quantum system and their own universes intended to siphon off this life energy where it is available. Technologies born of the teachings of false sacred science and corresponding perversions of the laws of natural cosmic physics have wrecked havoc for eons within the galaxies. Among ancient cultures, this particular set of false sacred science teachings and the technologies derived therefrom were known as the science of death or the science of the flower of doom. The artificial inorganic symbols of Metatron or involutive sacred geometry. One of the main artificial geometries of energy deformation used by this science of death, whose structure resembles a flower, has also been presented to us as the flower of life. Other elements from mathematics and quantum physics are presented to us with distortions such as the golden ratio, the Fibonacci sequence, platonic solids, the Sephiroth tree, the Metatronic cube, yin yang. They represent in fact only alterations of the living, natural and infinite structures like the crystal spiral, the Cathara grid, the natural electromagnetic flow Yang Yung. Examples of alter geometries to suck our energy. For example, we are taught that the flower of life is created from two interlocking circles, vesica pieces, by wave energy which multiplies in four, eight, etc. However, the true natural creation is set in motion from three circles matter, antimatter, pre-matter. Tribe wave energy which multiply ad infinitum. Thus, the resulting mathematical sequences of geometric diagrams are not quite the same. They look alike, but some lead to life, others to involution and death. To enslave humanity and keep us in thrall, these fallen races have developed involuntary technologies of control connected to our psyche and our energy centers in order to influence our emotions, our thoughts, our feelings, our beliefs in inserting into the planetary system and personal systems implants, networks and holographic programs. In reality, the teachings and technologies of this science have progressively mutated DNA and trapped consciousness into a state of submission 
and hypnosis by systematically dissolving the organic evolutionary potential to achieve the biospiritual ascension of eternal life. The ancient Illuminati races of the Atlantinian period promoted and reversed the technologies of this fallen science precisely to achieve these results. For their true motivation and intent was not to help the human race at all, but to deceive us in order to keep us under their yoke. The agenda of the fallen is to use the human race as unwitting, zombified tools to siphon our energy and reclaim our consciousness through DNA to reach dimensions, hall of amenti, to which they have no access. For this, it was necessary to create a system of beliefs and structures luminescent in our eyes so that we agree to adhere to their system and forget who we really are. A major factor in the spread of Metatronic science teachings and technologies to the cultures of the Atlantean period was the mass deception used by Illuminati groups, reptilian races, to misrepresent these teachings as coming from a divine source. Masses of beings have been deceived into thinking that the wisdom and powers taught to them through the use of metatronic reverse science teachings and technologies help them heal, reach higher levels of spiritual enlightenment, and mastering the process of bio-spiritual ascension, ascending into the higher dimensions in consciousness with the body and all parts of us. Humanity was then no longer free to create and evolve according to the original blueprint of our intended creation, and we had no memory of what had happened to us. We have been recycled through continuous reincarnation in Earth's 3D time matrix, with no memory of past lives, of who we really are, where we're going, or what our true relationship to Source God is, and what really is the goal of humanity. Over time, most of us lost our connection to our soul and adapted to survive in these anti-human structures. These technologies keep us in the grip of fear, negative ego, and negative mind. This blocks the free flow of telluric and vital cosmic energies within us. The awareness of who we are and where we come from always with the aim of siphoning us off and slowing down our evolution as much as possible. Flower of Life, Anti-Life Flower Flower of Life or Flower of Fatality by whom? What purpose? This motive is depicted on many temples, sculptures around the world. The matrix led us to believe that this pattern is meant to represent the fundamental pattern of creation from which everything is built. It is supposed to show the encoding of all the cells of life. We actually carry it in our cells because it is programmed into us by the 3D matrix from the moment we incarnate in this dimension. The Earth matrix is conditioned in this pattern at the moment. However, at the risk of turning everything upside down and questioning your beliefs, this program was established thousands of years ago by the collective of reptilians who hybridized us and tied us up in a system of manipulation and illusion to put us in an involutive, limiting, finite cycle. It leads us into a cellular degeneration, an involutive spiral, hence suffering and death, which explains its real name, Flower of Death. This manipulation has 
been so accepted as the gold standard for so long that we cannot imagine questioning it. Yet, its purpose is to siphon off our energy, to feed these shadow beings who need our energy to function since they have chosen to cut themselves off from the source. This allows them to stay alive. The flower of life actually contains the form of involution that traps and degenerates any life, any energy, or any cell that gets trapped there. Hence, cell, death, and disease. Humans were trapped and diluted thousands of years ago by this program. Hence, the oblivion and ignorance of this reality that makes us adhere at the cellular and mental level to this scheme. In this program is also present our relation to linear time, which explains the aging and the cellular degeneration that we did not know at the origin before our imprisonment in the current matrix. This pattern belongs to the system put in place by the matrix of shadow, the mesh of a net so well organized that we have adhered to it for thousands of years. As we have been so conditioned and accustomed to this frequency and this inverted system, we do not immediately feel its negative side. The mind blocks. We have integrated it so much as beautiful frequencies that our perceptions are diluted. Many people feel good with the flower of life because we have been conditioned for it. This requires a lot of humility and questioning of a whole system carefully installed to accept the different manipulations of this matrix mesh. Everything has been put in place to reduce atrophy and anesthetize the DNA and the human consciousness in order to slow us down as much as possible in the reception of the true encodings of light. In the artificial flower of life pattern, the diagonals are set at 60 degrees, unlike the flower of eternal life, where the diagonals are set at 45 degrees. This is an unnatural energetic and geometric relationship that prevents the spheres from properly phasing with the upper sphere. Think of three balls as a pyramid, thus preventing divine source feedback. The artificial flower of life does not allow the breathing and circulation of eternal life. When the spheres cannot phase properly, they are cut off from the normal flows of eternal life's currents and become metatronic. The metatronic code is based on two spheres, vesica pieces, while the geometric structures of eternal life is based on three spheres, triveca phase unit. The artificial flower of life simply takes the pieces of vesica and expands them. How this geometric system was set up? All of this began to fall into place over 26,000 years ago, leading to the fall of Atlantis. A major factor in the spread of metatronic science, teachings, and technologies to the cultures of the Atlantinian period was the mass deception used by Illuminati groups, reptilian races, to misrepresent these teachings as coming from a divine source. Masses of people have been deceived into thinking that the wisdom and powers taught to them through the use of metatronic reverse science teachings and technologies help them heal, achieve higher levels of spiritual enlightenment, and to master the process of biospiritual ascension, climbing into higher dimensions with the body. 
In reality, the teachings and technologies of this science have progressively mutated DNA and trapped consciousness into a state of submission and hypnosis by systematically dissolving organic evolutionary potential to achieve authentic bio-spiritual ascension of eternal life. The ancient Illuminati races of the Atlantinian period promoted the technologies of this fallen and reverse science precisely to achieve these results. For their true motivation and intent was not at all to help the human race, but to delude us in order to keep us under their yoke. The Illuminati's agenda is to secretly use the human race as unwitting, zombified, tools to siphon off our energy. For that, it was necessary to create a system of bright beliefs in our eyes so that we agree to adhere to their system and forget who we really are. The difference between these two energy structures. The true flower of life, living and organic with continuously renewed energy the flower of fatality, organic, and with closed and involutive energy. So why go through exterior elements? Why give our power to the exterior when we have within us the divine energies? We are dignified and sovereign divine beings, but we have been made to believe otherwise. By connecting directly, to divine energy, there is no risk of it being altered and it does what is right for everyone while respecting their free will. It is interesting for me to note, this is the symbol of the mother. It is also based on number 12. My friend Thierry superimposed the crystal spiral in pink on top of Guy's spiral of abundance. It followed it perfectly, whereas the Fibonacci spiral in blue went off the path. When I relinquish my power and my whole self to my soul, I willfully accept her past, present, and future creations, and I stop living in fear. Whether I am wealthy or not makes no difference since true love, the most powerful of all vibrations, infuses my physical, emotional, and mental bodies. I travel along the spiral of abundance and gradually free myself from all limits. Infinite love. Let us rejoice, because everything that unfolds in the world of lies is only an illusion and this world of lies is disintegrating before our eyes exponentially from hell on earth to paradise on earth we are creating what most believe is impossible it is up to us not to comply with any mandates or the coming CBDCs, yet have compassion towards others no matter where they are at on their evolutionary journey. The transitional years that we are experiencing right now will probably last for decades. We have passed the point of no return. All structures of society are collapsing and this includes family life. Food and energy scarcity will become a huge problem in all developed countries, but especially the ones with cold winter climates and a short growing season. We are inviting you for a long-term stay at the guest house for 100 US dollars per week. Monthly rates to be discussed. Books and tools to learn Spanish are included. I will also provide detailed information on how to grow the miracle Sacha Inchi nut. Finally, I can create complex, reconstructive dental work 
at a cost of about 35% of European and North American prices. A long-term stay at the coffee, avocado, such a inchy farm in southern Colombia will allow one to explore the area and find your individual solution to thrive during the challenging transitional years. Every day, I must reinforce my resolve to move forward on my evolutionary journey and energetically contribute towards the creation of the new species. Please share my videos so that they can reach the conscious individuals that are ready for this adventure. Infinite love.